Wow, pretty humble whip. Hey man, I, I, could, I could barely see you. Oh, you didn't? I'll, I'll get a bigger truck next time. Uh, yeah, just get a bigger one next time, please. We're no longer living in California, but we're gonna be traveling back there once per year. And we're gonna be doing a lot of camping. Even when we're out there, we're gonna be doing a lot of campings. I was talking to Angel and we decided that we wanna add a couple modifications to the truck. One of my best friends growing up works at a facility here in Michigan that essentially lifts Jeeps and trucks and does all sorts of mods. We're gonna pull up, drop the truck off. It's gonna be looking a little beefier. There's a lot of beefy trucks over here, right? There's a lot of big trucks. I mean, this is just intimidating. I, th I thought my truck was big, but... It's no, it's, it's not. It's just, it's just not. You gotta, you gotta transform this what? into into something sexy. It's a pro. That's true, that's true. <laughs> So, so what, are you, what are you about to do with this? We're gonna take it, tear it apart, hacksaws, strip it down, sell it for parts in. What was that last part? We're gonna put a lift kit on it. Uh, and you're gonna love it. Yeah. We're gonna, you know, strip it down, takes a lot of parts off. We're gonna measure things out because this is a 2020 model. We haven't actually gotten a chance to get our hands on the new TRD Pro. Really? So this is the first 2020 Tacoma that you got, well, TRD Pro. TRD Pro, they're a little different. There's a little more uh, stuff going on underneath with these things and we wanna make sure we can get some measurements right. So we're gonna prototype a few lift kits on it. This is way out there. What, how, how big of a lift does this one have on here? So this has a, a six and a half inch BDS uh, coilover conversion on it. Ooh, she gonna be sitting nice. She's sitting nice. Nate, this is Angel. Hey, Angel, Angel, this is Nate. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. How are you? What does BDS stand for? Is it big dick syndrome? Better design suspension is corporately what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> okay. You know, we'll leave it up to the imagination. <laughs> so this oh has an eight-inch lift on it. What do you think about that? That's amazing. <laughs> Look at that in there. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're about to get an upgrade, Angel. Are you ready for this? Um, so ready. <laughs> All right. So we also got some Jeeps. So this is the shop, huh? This is the R&D shop. Yep. Uh, most everything we can do in-house. Um, otherwise, then we send all of our designs from here to our manufacturing center, which I'll take you to later on. You can see all the cool robots make everything. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> It smells like freedom too. <laughs> After it dips away, you know. <laughs> All right. Wow. I look at this truck now. I thought it was badass, and now it is. Quite frankly, it's, it's cute. It's cute. I mean, um, it's time for an upgrade. Here you go, sir. Good luck. Treat her right. We manufacture shit here. <laughs> While the Tacoma is getting fixed, I spent a lot of time with family, working on my film, and doing some good old fashioned Michigander stuff. Working in the woods, playing cornhole, campfires with friends, hitting golf balls off docks. COVID was a challenging time for everyone, but we turned it into an amazing blessing. I got to spend time with my family, and it made me realize how important it is to truly appreciate family. And I'm excited to share more of my Midwest roots. Oh. Damn. Gee. Michigan is one of my favorite places on earth, and I am so grateful to have grown up here.
2.5 weeks have gone by and it is time to pick up the truck before we go back to California and I'm, I'm really stoked on this one. But I gotta pee first because I feel like when I see the truck, if I don't pee, I'm gonna pee my pants. So what, what should I prepare for right now? Well, you've got fresh underwear on. Uh, they're like one day, one day use, but pretty fresh. I mean, quarantine time, that's that's pretty yeah, new that's, to me. That's, that's fresh. <laughs> You're in for a treat. I don't know if we want to have your eyes covered when we walk around, Ooh. you know, walk around the corner or how we want to do this. Straight. Where am I going? You yeah, this way. Hey, are you going straight or this way? This is like a diagonal. I'm freaking out right now. Oh, my it's heart, my so heart's, good. my heart's pumping right now. Three, two, one. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Bro, that actually looks like like a whole different truck. A totally different truck. <laughs> For real. Yo, thank you, bro. Oh my god. It was, wow. Uh, it was the right choice. Damn, bro. I don't even know what to like how to process this right it's, now. It's it's a good looking truck. Nate, walk me through what you guys did here. For some people that know the Toyotas and stuff, this is the TRD Pro, which is the top level off-road truck that you can get for, from Toyota. The problem is, is that not too many companies in the aftermarket make a lift kit for it. I mean, like, this many. Spencer, when you dropped it off and I gave it to my engineers, they're like, they kind of laughed at me like, yeah, we got nothing for this. And I was like, well, guess what we're gonna do? <laughs> this is the first 2020 TRD Pro. With this level of lift on it, yes. Wow. Uh, tore it all apart. We uh, did some cutting and trimming on the, the front skid plate, all sorts of stuff. But we, uh, we fabricated some cross members, relocated a few things, and, you know, bada boom, bada bang. This is insane. Uh, we're running 35 inch tires. And then obviously you had some pretty good taste on the wheels with black rhinos. Yep. I don't know if this is sad or if this is actually a good thing, but I actually haven't even put this car into four, four wheel drive yet. We have. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these, uh, Look a little dirty back here. It looks like somebody was maybe driving this. I mean, once you put it on, we gotta make sure it's gonna go somewhere. <laughs> For sure. Yep, still got a full tank in there. <laughs> maybe half tank. <laughs> All right, Angel, you ready to get in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go, you got it. There we go, nice and smooth, nice and easy. There we go. You look good, look natural. All right, yeah. I'm gonna shut the door, watch out. Wow, I want to get some steps in the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to follow Nate over to the off-road park to break her in. It definitely requires a little more gas to get it going. Really? <laughs> Shout out to my buddy Nate. I, I went to high school with him. As soon as he saw me get the Tacoma, he's like, dude, you got to take it in and get it overland done. Uh, we're going to shoot a little commercial, get some footage, and have some fun. Wow, that was fun. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah. The truck is a beast. I mean, this thing handled so well. I'm so impressed with it. Shout out to Nate and BDS for the incredible lift kit. Nate gets to do this on a daily basis. I'm kind of jealous, not gonna lie. Might as well. Might as well send it. there thank you sir thank you yep. sir this is a sexy whip thanks to you and you you put in some work on it huh yeah. any last words i mean it's the best looking tacoma i've seen damn <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> more trucks 
I didn't think I'd be around this many trucks, honestly. And I'm gonna get my rooftop tent installed on the Tacoma. This is probably the last addition that I'll make on the truck before we go back to California. I got a half rack, so it's gonna be flush with the truck. I'm really excited to see how that looks, A. And B, I'm stoked on the fact that we're gonna be able to just park, open up the tent, and be able to sleep on top of the Tacoma. If it's raining outside, or if it's cold, or if you're just not in the mood to put a tent, together and set up the poles and all that stuff, you can just flip it open. It was a little pricey, it was like $4,000, but for me it's worth it. We're gonna be doing a lot of camping, a lot of cross country road trips, and this is just gonna make life a lot easier. Oh, you're in there. I didn't even see you down in there. You're napping. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. I'm down for it, let's do it. Let's do passenger side, that's cool with me. So it's fully insulated, so that means when it's cold, it's gonna keep the heat in. And when it's really hot, you can open this up, and you have windows on the side, and you can get a nice cross breeze in. 